Hello, my name is Scott. This is my sign name. And today I'm going to tell you a story. The name of the story is Fighting the Big Virus. Trinka, Sam, and Little Town work together. This book was written by Chandra Macheco, Josh Ippen, and Melissa Brimer. The illustrator is Eric Ippen Jr. Let's take a look. This is Trinka. And this is Sam. They are neighbors and they like to play together. In the spring, they run outside and welcome the flowers. And when it rains, they love to go puddle stomping. And they always listen when it's time to stop. Well, almost always. One day, while they were watching TV at Sam's house, they heard about an illness that was spreading and making lots of people sick. The grown-ups on TV were worried. Trinka and Sam were worried too. Even Sam's baby brother, Cal, and their pet, Juju, seemed to know that something scary was happening. A few days later, they saw people wearing masks on their faces. They didn't understand why. They saw people buying lots of groceries, and sometimes the things they wanted weren't in the store. That was strange. That night, Trinka and Sam asked their parents lots of questions and talked to them about their worries. Their parents listened carefully. Then, they helped them understand why people were worried about this big new virus and what they could do to stay safe.
Trinka and Sam felt a lot better after talking to their parents. Even though the virus was still in Littletown, it was good to share their worries and think about all the good things their family and town were doing to stay safe. As the virus continued to spread, their lives changed in many ways. Sam couldn't go to school. He missed his teacher and his friends. He wondered when he would see them again. Trinka's mom tried to teach her things. Sometimes that went well, and other times both Trinka and her mom ended up feeling very frustrated. Trinka and Sam wanted to play with each other, but they couldn't. They could wave at each other and play rock, paper, scissors from their doors. But it wasn't the same. They missed each other. They could go for walks outside but the playground was closed. Trinka was upset. She wanted to play on the slide, but Officer Clemens said that they had to close the playground to keep the virus from spreading. By closing the playground, they were working together to stay safe. When they went to the cheese store, they had to wait in a long line. Trinka's mom explained that they did this to make sure the store wasn't crowded. This made things safer for the workers and everyone who went to the store. Waiting was boring, but it wasn't all bad. They met a really nice later, Mrs. Whisk. She played red light, green light with Trinka and her mom. Pretty soon, the whole line was playing. It made the time go so much faster, and it was nice to make new friends. Mrs. Whisk was buying cheese to make a cheesecake. She couldn't see her grandchildren right now, but that afternoon they were going to bake together by video. When she learned that Trinka loved cheesecake, she shared her secret recipe with them. It was hard to have to stay inside and not be able to do the things they usually did. Each family tried to do fun things to make the time pass. 
Trinka and her mom played lots of games. Oh, and of course, they made cheesecake following Mrs. Whisk's secret recipe, and they decided to share the love and make one for Sam's family, too. Sam and his family planted seeds and watched them grow. They also played lots of hide and seek. Cal loved hide and seek, even though he wasn't so good at hiding. The families had good times, but they also had hard times. There were days full of tears and times when Trinka wouldn't listen. There were times when Trinka needed her mom. But her mom was busy trying to take care of so many things. There was the time when Trinka's mom had an important call. She told Trinka that she needed to play by herself. Trinka tried to listen and follow directions, but it was hard to wait. She and Juju decided to see what her mom was doing. Her mom was not happy about this. Trinka's mom took time to calm down. Then they talked about what happened, how they both felt, and they made a plan. Together, they drew signs that Trinka's mom could put up when she was busy. Trinka mostly followed the signs, but it was hard when she wanted her mommy. At Sam's house, they were also having problems. There were times when everyone was in a bad mood. Sometimes the grown-ups were mad at each other. Sam and Cal did not like it when this happened. They were worried. Sam got mad, too. It was hard to understand why things were so different. His parents tried to be patient, but when Sam misbehaved, they sometimes didn't know what to do.
After Sam misbehaved, he felt bad. His parents felt bad too. They knew that everyone was under pressure, and they all needed to help. So they thought about different things that they could do. All over Little Town, families were worried for different reasons. Some knew people who were sick; others worried about jobs because businesses were closing. Even though the kids were little, they knew things were happening. Sam's mom worked in a hospital, caring for people who needed help. They were proud of the work she did, but they also worried about her. She told them about the different ways that she kept herself safe from the virus. She also told them that if the virus spread more, she might need to stay somewhere else. Because of her job, she was around lots of people who had the virus. She wanted to help people, but she also wanted to keep her family safe. Sam knew that his mommy was very brave, and he wanted to be brave too. But it was hard. Sam and Baby Cal didn't like when their mom went to work, but their dad was there for them. Their mom called them from the hospital, even though she wasn't with them. They were always in her heart. For the parents, it really helped when they could talk to each other and get support. They were all juggling so many things. They talked about hard things, and they shared funny stories that made them laugh, and realized they weren't alone. They also shared recipes and good ideas for things to do with the kids. They found they could be together. Even while keeping physical space between them, all over Little Town, families did things to keep their community safe from the virus. They supported each other and found ways to help the kids. They spent time together and tried to get back to simple routines like making food and eating together.
They tried to have regular schedules. And they found new things that they liked to do together. They found ways to reduce their stress. They danced and exercised a lot. They thought about when to watch the news and when to turn it off. They gave each other big hugs. They talked about their feelings. And talked about what they could do when they were feeling sad. Angry. Frustrated. Embarrassed. Ashamed. They found moments of joy calm and victory. They were sad about missing special events like graduations and family birthdays, and they found new ways to celebrate it. It wasn't the same, but it was beautiful and important. They helped others. And they clapped and sang, even though they were in different places, they were together. It would take some time. While they waited, they were grateful for everyone who helped those who were sick, for farmers who grew the food. For those who made sure stores had food and packages were delivered, for teachers who helped them learn. And scientists who worked hard to stop the spread of the illness, for leaders who tried to make sure that people were taken care of, for the many people who were kind and helpful.
They were also grateful for the many people who stayed at home and couldn't work. Piplow's family was worried about their jobs and having enough money for rent and food. Yet, they stayed in to keep Little Town safe, to make sure the hospitals didn't have too many sick people and the virus couldn't spread too fast. They were also heroes. Little by little, things started getting better. Scientists found ways to test for the virus. They developed treatments. Kids went back to school. Parents went back to work. They followed the new rules for staying safe and worked together to fight the virus. It would take a while. They would have times when they would need to listen carefully and follow the rules to keep everyone safe from the virus. There would be many changes, but eventually they would all go out to play. <laughs>